It's dirty. No, it's not. It looks like you slept in it. In a pile of garbage. Jack, why are you... I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh. Really? What? Bigby's here. Uh, why are you never glamoured, Toad? Why is it so hard to just follow the rules? Look, I know some fables can switch from man to beast and back again like changing shirts. But it's not so easy for the rest of us to look human, alright? And anyway, so I'm getting the money right now. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic! So? And it'll be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Hey, wait a minute. That's Faith's coat. It was Faith's coat. Look, you left it in my place. What do you expect me to do? Yes, I think the off-sighted statute of Finder's Keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I, I don't know. <sighs> this is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If a witches didn't charge so fucking much, I wouldn't have to be in here dealing with this nonsense. You know, maybe Snow can help you out. How could Snow help me out? Give you an advance. A loan or something. She's kind of in charge of the business office now. Well, the last guy who was in charge didn't help us much, so forgive me if I don't expect anything different now. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not gonna take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be, since this whole bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnay on the own lays, okay, Ogfrey? I mean, what kind of a game are you running here? Toad? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit? Funny you should mention that, because it's exactly why I'm here. You want a loan? I didn't really think you the type. Well, first, tell me, how does it work? You yes, know, let's um, get some information. I'm sorry, Bigby, but I really shouldn't be talking about this with you. You know this is a fucking crooked man place, right? Toad? He uses fancy boys like Jack here to squelch the honest businessman. Force him to lay on credit into servitude. High interest isn't servitude. And nobody's complained before. Who'd listen? That's true. Well, I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Fuck off! Dude, I just want to give him money! Coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour, then? It's not like I've got a lot of options, you know. Look, I'll... I'll give you some money, all right? You've got to be kidding me. Do you even know how much a glamour costs? I've... I've never had to buy one. Keep your money, Sheriff. I've no patience for charity. Damn, we're just I'm trying to help him! Can't you at least wear a bigger hat? You know, it's getting old to tell the difference. Between what? Between the business office and fables like a crooked man. Who you purportedly seek to protect us from. It's true. Either way, it's true. I'm getting screwed. Drop by any time. Look, I'm sorry, all right? What else do you want from me? He really grows on you. <laughs> Look, I work here sometimes for the extra cash. It's something stable. You know, between more entrepreneurial bouts. And before you ask, I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. And the last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Is this really why you came down here? The woodsman's axe? Yeah, that's why I came down here. It'll lead me right to the Crooked Man if I can track it. He's been sending people to kill me, and I'd like to have a little chat about that. Was the axe here? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I think I'd notice a giant mystical axe. And that's saying something. Since, you know, I can sometimes miss the obvious. I'm just joking. I never miss anything. You wouldn't mind if I look around for a bit, then. And what if I did mind? 
Uh, got it. Listen, Ugh. I gotta start closing up shop. Is that like so, uh, Jack and Jill? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run it on hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in, so what? Uh, I still think you're hiding something, Jack. Maybe the axe is back here. It's not. It was bad enough in the woodsman's hands. And if it's not here, I need to track down that psycho who had it last. It's not here. You better hope not. Can't you Shut just- Shut up, Jack. If the Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions, it also means he isn't here to get in my way. Well, that's I'm true. I'm gonna take a look around, as long as I've got the elbow room. All right. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. You said you'd never take something like this. Uh, uh, what? I, I, do, I don't, uh... Jack? Uh, yeah? When was the woodsman here? Was who here? The woodsman. Because the axe was here. But it's gone. Did he pawn it? He usually doesn't let that thing out of his sight. I don't know anything about that. I don't, really. I mean, I don't work every day, so... Uh... And even when I do work, I just try to keep my head down. Just tell me the truth. What happened to the axe? It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. Why'd she take it? Just to fuck with me? You think I'm crazy enough to ask her that? I'm not sticking my foot in that lawnmower, thank you. Well, for oh, your sake, she is you crazy. better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... That's my fucking system. But you... you're the guy who makes sure I'm the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Grant said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. Woody, calm down. Your ex isn't here. Christ. And this fucking guy too? Bigby. What? It isn't? Nope. It isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? Why is the Jersey Devil dressed like a fucking pedophile? I've got shit to do, so whatever you're here for, make it snappy. Uh, he wanted to know where- Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. You work with the Crooked Man. And until I give you permission, you're not gonna do anything but answer my questions. Uh, how's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a stink, don't she? Jack, did you know that as of this very morning, Big Beast joined the Crooked Man's Obedience School for wayward fucking creatures. He's already passed his first class. You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer. Been chasing him for fucking days. Right oh, the Crooked gonna... Man snapped his bony fingers. And Big B handed him over. Just like that. I'm, uh, just gonna, uh, let you two, you know. I wouldn't exactly put it like that. Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> you piece of shit. I mean, the Jersey Devil is... is... Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. I didn't expect to see you upright. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park? Hey, back off and settle down. Oh, what the fuck are you gonna do? You talk big, but I don't think you got the stones to back it up. <laughs> Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. I'm surprised I don't see nose hairs coming out. I'm just gonna hand... 
you fucking Yes! No! Through! Through! Go through the glass! Yes! Right into the thing! Woohoo! This is my fucking fight. Not now, dog. You got a lot of nerve. Oh, so gross looking. Just tag team him already. Yes! Oh, there's the axe! Go on, try to stop me. in the bends and forks of tree roots behind the sun in the <coughs> shadows that's not good enough oh, the door to his house it bounces around never in one spot you'll never find it even Crane had to use the magic mirror that fucking guy <laughs> okay that's Crane's way how do you contact him Oh, I know. He uses couriers for everything. Ravens, oh, goblins, the fucking Tweedles. Whatever. I go in when I'm taken there. You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. Nothing? I still have you, don't I? It doesn't matter what you fucking do. You're not gonna get him. You wanna knock on his fucking door and see what happens? Fine. Crane had the mirror. Bloody Mary had Crane. So take your fucking wrecking crew act to the butcher shop. The cut above. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. That's her spot. That's where all the magic happens. Now leave me, so I can find some aspirin. Oh. I think you might need some more. He ain't going anywhere. So, that's it, okay? I think that's you might need more than aspirin so for that fucking get it. head I injury, I mean. You got Dude, it's you kinda want. gaping now open. Now get the fuck out of here. You, you know? Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's 
nothing you could do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. I don't have to listen to this shit. Out of smoke? You give him one. Thanks. Shitty brand. You're welcome. I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Glad he picked the right one. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. All right, you go do it then. Hey, Woody. Yeah? You gonna be all right? You know me. Yeah, because a guy walking down the street with a fucking axe isn't weird. Smoking's gross, anyways. There's like barely anything in there. Huh, empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. I'm gonna go with doesn't have any. Right. That that's what Beast was talking about. Hmm. That logo looks familiar. I've seen this it before. Looks like a cricket person. Frozen? Not very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? Be wolf? What happened to you? I'm looking for a piece of the magic mirror. Um, wh what? The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Well, that's one Bloody way to Mary say hello. Brought it here, didn't she? What? B Bloody Mary? Magic mirror shard? <laughs> What kind of place do you think this is? Don't bullshit me. I'm not. What you're looking for, I... I think you'd be better off looking at uh, the Lucky Pond. Yeah, or someplace like that. You know where it is, right? It's around the corner and a few blocks down. I've been there. I didn't find what I was looking for. Had some words with Jersey, too. Words? Anyway, if, if I'd have known you already looked at the Lucky Pond, I... I... I wouldn't have pointed you there. I, I just figured anything worth a damn in Fable Town goes through Jersey's hands at some point. You know that. Believe me, I don't want to waste your time, Sheriff. And I certainly don't mean to offend. Yeah? Well, Jersey had those dirty hands wrapped around my neck not too long ago. Oh, sorry. It's okay. I smashed his horse face in, knocked some teeth out. He won't we'll be, be chewing bubblegum bubble anytime soon. <laughs> Listen. Crane had the mirror. 
Mary had Crane, and she comes around here, right? If you're covering for her, I'm gonna have a problem with you. So you better think real hard about what you say next. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. No, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Come on. Come on, baby. Shit. Delightful. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. What's the problem? I'm just coming back to give you a hand. Oh, fuck me. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Come on, damn it. For such an innocent guy, you're acting pretty damn strange, Johan. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. <laughs> He's gonna get me killed. Huh? How you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't wanna die. Please. Please don't kill me. Listen. Just calm the fuck down, okay? I wouldn't be able to calm down with answer. you talking all I'm not her like the either. Jersey devil. Whatever you did to him, I can't take that. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop, or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Just open the door, Johan, and it won't be your problem anymore. I, I can't. Why not? What's back there? I don't know. I, honest. I, I've never been back there. It's locked from the other side. Look, I, I just worked the front. That's all I'm supposed to do. I've, I've actually, I haven't been back there in years. Well, who locked the fucking door? I, I'm not part of their crew. I, I don't know who or, or what goes on back there. Crew? The crooked man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me, took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just That's a true. victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. It's all right. I believe you. Calm down. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. But there would... Shh. Oh, God. Yeah. You probably shouldn't be doing that with, like, your side all, like... Noodled. <sighs> I'm so sorry if you guys can hear my mother. Is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. The 
This business, it's all I've ever had. I get why you flipped that switch, but you had a choice. You could have told me. And if you hadn't warned them, I might be dealing with your problem right now. Told you? Huh. You come in here making trouble for me? But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. I needed your help. Did it not... Did it not take? Crap. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Too bad they had time to erase it all. This could have been useful. for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please? Chains? Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. This what those loans get you? That crooked piece of shit. Ribbons, chains, it's it's all the fucking same. Pretty much, pretty much. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. Tongue of dog and nose bleeding. Make with the right equipment. What the hell is that? Is that? Is that Crane's coat? I know this isn't your coat. What's it doing here? It's a coat. What's the big deal about some dirty... Looks like Crane's. It's seen some abuse. I'm sure he handled it just fine. No time for traveler's checks, huh? Uh, take it. He won't be needing this anymore. We're gonna use that to give to people. That sick piece of... pockets does this coat have? The shard. It's the shard. Finally. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? Do you really think this is gonna be all right? Of all this stuff in here, I do know one thing. That's his icon. His symbol. What kind of a guy uses a torture device as his icon? <laughs> the kind That's of guy true. who isn't going to be understanding about Big B Wolf showing himself in. So tell me this. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm going to have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my end. You won't have to worry, Johan. I'm going to take him down. 